Notice the personal information section automatically collapsed and the contact information section expanded. In this section, you'll notice something not in any other section. There is a lock icon on the right hand side for each contact field in this section. The reason being is due to the sensitive nature of information in this particular section. Facebook offers privacy settings for each contact field. To customize the privacy of a field, simply click on the lock icon. A dialog window pops up and asks, who can see the given contact field? You can select values from the drop-down. Note, it is recommended you set all values to friends only. I'll click cancel to close the dialog window. In the address field, it is recommended you do not disclose your full address. If you wish to enter something in this field, be no more specific than city, state, or zip code. If you happen to be a member of the Witness Protection Program, don't enter anything into this field. Moving on, in the website field, I will enter in Plan A Software's website. To make the changes stick, I will click the Save Changes button. The last section we are going to edit is the Education and Work section. In the College slash University field, I'll enter in Candace's alma mater, Northern Arizona University, along with the year 2007. If you want to get really detailed, you can enter in majors and minors as well. In the high school field, I'll enter in Laughlin High School. I'm going to skip over the employment history section. To make the changes stick, I'll click the Save Changes button. Since we're done editing these four sections for now, I'll click the Done Editing button. Notice the information we've entered is displayed in a nice and easy to read format. When Candace's friends visit her Facebook page, this is how her profile information page will look like to them. Notice the information box towards the middle left of the screen. We can edit what information appears in this box by clicking on the pencil icon. For example, to make the website information we just entered appear in this box, check the website checkbox. Notice Candace's website information is now displayed in the information box. Let's navigate over to her wall by clicking on the wall tab. Take note the changes we have made to her profile have been automatically posted onto her wall. We will discuss how to tweak what information appears here in a later tutorial. Another neat feature Facebook offers is the option to write something about yourself. To do so, I'll click the Write Something About Yourself link located underneath Candace's profile picture. The quote that Candace has chosen has already been copied to my clipboard. I'll simply right click and paste it in. Now, I'm not sure as to the validity of this quotation, but we'll humor her and leave it as is. To make the changes stick, click somewhere in the empty white space or press the enter button on the keyboard. The last item we are going to explore is how to join a network. Networks help users connect with members of the same network. When you join a network, you can view all of the users within that same network. To begin, click on the settings button. Next, click on the networks tab. In the given text box, I'll enter in Phoenix. I'll use the Facebook suggest and I will pick Phoenix, Arizona. To officially join the network, I'll click the button join network. Notice the yellow message box indicating we have successfully joined the network and that our privacy settings may have changed. 
our privacy settings did change, and we'll explore how to tweak Facebook privacy in the next tutorial. I'll navigate back to Candace's profile page by clicking the profile button. And in a nutshell, that is how you add content to your Facebook account. I'm Paromatic, and thank you for watching.